Hello everyone, a very pleasant welcome on the behalf of Multisoft. I brought this interesting session for engineers, designers and architects who aim to gain a better understanding about the tools and components of AutoCAD architecture. Let us keep the agenda of the training clear in our mind. I will begin with an overview of AutoCAD and then provide you with a brief about Autodesk that is the owner of AutoCAD. Further, we'll move on to the exam details and later discuss the course details with you. The course details will include the target audience, professional scope, learning outcomes and course outline for the AutoCAD online training. Once you know what all contents will be covered in the training, I will pick up one of the course topics and cover its related concepts in the sneak preview section. In addition to enhancing your subject knowledge, the sneak preview will also give you an idea of how online training will happen at Multisoft. At last, I will discuss the deliverables of AutoCAD online training at Multisoft. Towards the end, I'll summarize the session for you. Let's start with an overview of AutoCAD before moving on to the course details. The term CAD, that is Computer Aided Design, applies to a wide range of programs that allow the user to create drawings, plans and designs electronically. AutoCAD is a popular software product and its main claim to fame is that it is relatively easy to use and comprehensive in its ability to create 2D and some 3D drawings. Autodesk has also developed a few vertical programs, including AutoCAD Architecture, AutoCAD Civil 3D, AutoCAD Electrical, AutoCAD Map 3D, AutoCAD Mechanical, etc. All these products are for discipline-specific enhancements. Also, 70% of the CAD users in the world use AutoCAD. Further, continuing with the same section of the overview, we have Technopedia explaining AutoCAD. AutoCAD is used across a wide range of industries by architects, project managers, engineers, graphic designers and other professionals. AutoCAD was derived from a program which began in 1977 and released in 1979 called Interact CAD, also referred to as early Autodesk documents as MicroCAD, which was written prior to Autodesk's formation by Autodesk co-founder Mike Riddle. The first version by the Autodesk company was demonstrated at the 1982 Comdex and was released in December. The 2016 release marked the 30th major release for the AutoCAD for Windows operating system. The 2014 release marked the fourth consecutive year for the AutoCAD release for Mac OS. I've been continuously talking about AutoCAD, but it is time that we should know what exactly are its advantages. Firstly, it saves time and money and reduces errors with its dynamic engineering model. Also, it reduces purchase, deployment and support costs with one complete solution. It also increases the value for the client by delivering more design alternatives in less time. Last but not the least, it takes full advantage of the existing AutoCAD skills to get up to speed quickly and create production sheets faster. Now let me tell you about Autodesk which is a well-known software company and also the owner of AutoCAD. Autodesk is an American multinational software corporation headquartered in California. It was founded in 1982 and provides software for architecture, engineering, construction, media and manufacturing industries. The company is famous for its computer-aided design software. Autodesk software have been used for significant design-based developments including New York Freedom Tower and Tesla electric cars. Let me now share the exam details with you. Taking certification exams at Autodesk University is easy. You just need to take up to 2 hours to finish each product exam. The exam comprises of 100 multiple choice questions. You can make two attempts to pass with no requirement of pre-registration. Let's move on to the course specific details now. In terms of target audience, it is available for individuals who want to learn the core features and functionality of designs and drafting by AutoCAD. Also, candidates with an engineering background can learn AutoCAD as it is designed for various engineering fields including designers and architects. 
Let me share the professional scope of AutoCAD with you now. On the professional front, after you complete the training, you can work as an AutoCAD operator, AutoCAD draftsman, AutoCAD designer, AutoCAD design engineer, AutoCAD technician and AutoCAD trainer. Let us now know what are the learning outcomes from this AutoCAD course. After you complete this training, individuals will be able to demonstrate an understanding of the AutoCAD workspace and user interface, use basic drawing, editing and viewing tools, create simple drawings, make changes and add precision to drawings, organize drawing objects with layers, obtain information and measurements from drawings, use more advanced editing and drawing techniques, insert reusable symbols, etc. In the AutoCAD training at Multisoft, we will cover the modules mentioned on the slide in detail. These topics are for AutoCAD 2D. Further moving on with the course outline for AutoCAD 3D modeling, these topics will be covered after covering the 2D topics. It's time for the sneak preview section. I'm pretty sure that you'll find this interesting and knowledgeable as this will be a short demo session where you'll see real-time implementation of concepts. So, let's begin. We'll start with the AutoCAD interface. The image on the screen is the AutoCAD 2D drafting and annotation workspace. This workspace shows the ribbon which includes tabs, each of which, when clicked, will bring a set of panels containing tool icons. Further, tool panels can be seen by clicking the appropriate tab. The next is the menu browser icon which causes the menu browser menu to appear by a simple left click on the arrow at the top left hand corner of the AutoCAD window. Workspaces switching menu appears with a click on the workspace switching button in the status bar. When AutoCAD is opened, a window appears which depending upon whether a 3D modeling, classic AutoCAD or a 2D drafting and annotation workspace has been set as the queue new in the options dialog. Now that you've got an idea about the AutoCAD interface, you can start drawing a new file by clicking on new file tab from startup menu which is at the top left corner. After clicking on the new file tab, a new select template dialog box will appear. Here you need to choose the template acad.dwt from the given template box, click OK and start drawing the views. Before I proceed with explaining you about how to create objects, let me brief you about object snaps. Object snaps allow objects to be added to a drawing at precise positions in relation to other objects already on screen. With object snaps, objects can be added to the endpoints, midpoints, to intersections of objects, to centers and quadrants of circles and so on. Object snaps also override snap points even when snap is set on. To set object snaps at the command line, enter OS. The drafting settings dialog box appears. Click the Object Snap tab in the upper part of the dialog and click the check boxes to the right of the Object Snap names to set them on. Close the drawing just completed and open the acadiso.dwt template and left click on the circle tool icon in the home draw panel. Enter a coordinate and a radius against the prompts appearing in the command window as shown in the given figure followed by right clicks and finally the circle appears on the screen. Now let's discuss how to use the array toolbar. Arrays can either be in a rectangular form or a polar form. We will discuss the arrays in the rectangular form now. We will discuss the arrays in rectangular form today. The array command allows to create duplicates of existing objects in a rectangular or circular pattern. Let's discuss the example of a rectangular array. Firstly, select the items you wish to copy. Either select additional items or press enter to move to the next prompt. Then type R for rectangular array and press enter. After this, type the number of rows desired. Then you need to type the number of columns desired. Now enter the distance between the rows and then the distance between the columns. Now construct the drawing. 
call the array tool. Either click array in the modify drop down menu from the home modify panel, pick the array tool icon from the modify toolbar or enter AR or array at the command line. The array dialog box appears. Now make the settings in the dialog box. Set on the rectangular array radio button. In the row field enter 5, in the column field enter 6 and in the row offset field enter minus 50. In the column offset field enter 50. Then click the select objects button and the dialog box disappears. A second dialog box appears which includes a preview button. Click the preview button, the dialog disappears and the following prompt appears at the command line. Pick or press escape to return to the drawing or right click to accept the drawing. If satisfied, right click. If not, press the escape key and make revisions to the array dialog fields as necessary. The resulting array will be shown to you in the next slide. You can see the result of the rectangular array command on this slide. So, how was the experience so far? I'm pretty sure it was amazing and interactive. So let's move on to discuss how online training will happen at Multisoft. When you register with us for the training, we will connect with you as per the pre-decided time and impart training for 30 hours in all. For the exact schedule and each session's duration, you can refer to the training calendar on our website. The training happens through a secure web conferencing tool that allows a real-time learning experience. Once you register with us, we send out event links to you wherein you log into a collaborative platform that allows two-way interaction between the student and the trainer through webcam and voice chat. It is as good as a classroom since the whiteboard allows the trainer to transfer knowledge as done in a classroom. The share option lets the experts share files, videos, applications and even desktops. Once you register with us, we provide you 24 by 7 access to an online resource center wherein apart from accessing other training material, you can also attempt 9 assignments and 2 projects. Apart from these two valuable practice resources, you also get access to all related presentations, projects and training videos. Now to summarize the session, this will be a 30-hour instructor-led online training that will be conducted by an experienced trainer. In addition, you will get 24 by 7 access to the learning management system where you can attempt 9 assignments and 2 projects. After the training, you will also receive a certificate from Multisoft. This session was an attempt to provide you detailed information about the online AutoCAD training. In order to register for the course or to ask any question, please write to us at info at multisoftvirtualacademy.com.